We're live. Yep, looks like it. There we go. Okay, finally, we're live on YouTube. Let's take a look at this. Brandon, welcome to the show. We've got a whole bunch of people with us. We've got Bjorkman Golden and Noelle is hidden. She's invisible. And Long Done out of Minnesota. Dan, of course, helps us always to put this together. And today we're going to be talking about LinkedIn and automation, specifically for two, two things here. One, your leads, the leads that you get through for your business. And the other one is for recruiting. And I know a few of you guys are killing it. I know over the last week since I've been doing this with Brandon and, and Tech Lee, I've been getting a lot more people calling me and asking for me to talk to them. Actually, I'm talking to three today. I don't want to show you on the back end, Brandon, so don't show them mine sure. because chances are they're also on lab coats and they don't want to know. So, but you can check it out. It's, it's on fire. So Brandon, please introduce yourself and the company that you have. Yeah, of course. My name is Brandon, uh, Brandon Lee. Uh, we founded a company called Tech Lee uh, beginning of this year. And it was more so uh, for David and Mike because we just realized there's a huge struggle to uh, continue to build our organization and the manual input that was was being done was just not enough to get us to where we needed to go. Uh, and so what we did is we figured out a way to automate that through uh, LinkedIn, where we weren't literally, we weren't generating inquiries anymore. We were literally delivering people at the conversation stage, uh, which really changed our ability to interact and begin that process of creating a relationship so that we could actually recruit people down the line. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I've been doing it for almost a year now and we have almost a hundred clients on board and, and uh, the system's getting better every day as, as we continue to build it out. So yeah, why, why is this, why is LinkedIn important? Because I'm barely on. Yeah. So uh, for a bunch of reasons, really it, in Q3 of 2016, there was five or what was it? Five, 463 million active users. Um, if we fast forward to Q4 of 2018, there's almost 590 million active users, which is an increase of 123 million users. Um, in comparison to what Twitter did in that same timeline, they gained about 9 million users. So our audience is significantly larger uh, and growing quite a bit faster. On the lead generation side, what we know, uh, per, uh, data provided by Mashable, which tries to create credit profiles for uh, for, for people online through social data, is that the average user on LinkedIn has a 58 point higher credit score than the average Facebook user. Um, with that said, in addition, on a daily basis, there's about 350 million posts, whether it's videos, uh, pictures, uh, any sort of content on Facebook on a daily basis compared to LinkedIn, where there's about 2 million. So the amount of traffic and the amount of, of, of noise that is on LinkedIn is significantly less, and the amount of interaction um, is significantly greater for the people that are actually logging on. Um, currently, 58% of millennials are on there and they log on, about 40% of those uh, log on on a daily basis, which is a huge thing for us considering whether it's recruiting, lead generation, that's one of our really big target markets at this point. Uh, and our ability to reach those people, especially through the automation portion uh, uh, that we, we're providing, it changes the game for us. All right, man, that makes sense. Uh, I've always been a little slow to pick up on, on LinkedIn. What about you guys, Bjorkman, Golden, Long? <laughs> I've been on LinkedIn for ever since its conception. And, you know, LinkedIn to me was always a playground for corporate heroes to brag about themselves and try to um, continue their reputation. So they're always going to be hireable and safe. And it's evolved over the years to a much different platform, which, which I was pretty impressed with lately, ever since Brandon um, got us more and more involved, I've become more and more active because I'm seeing the leads come through not only for our real estate business, but for attracting agents to our organization as well. So now that I look at it more, it's become a little more playful. Like, you know, as a high eye, I love Facebook and that's, I'm a relationship builder and, and I just, I love that platform so much more, but LinkedIn has become a reality uh, for every agent that's trying to produce at a high level. Uh, LinkedIn has the capability to target in a much different way than Facebook. So we've been we've been playing in this realm for a little while now, been very successful at it. Um, Brandon has done some very innovative things in the space, things that you know just other people just can't do. And the conception of Tech Lee combined with LinkedIn has made it just spectacular. Like we're sitting here in Puerto Rico uh, for a mastermind this week, and 
every time I look at my phone, there's another inquiry on LinkedIn and it's, it's much more effective than it's more, it's more of a, a kind of like a, when it comes to real estate, there's active prospecting versus passive prospecting, right? Mm -hmm. Facebook is much more passive prospecting in my opinion than LinkedIn being very active. It's, it's reaching out to them in a way that you just can't do with Facebook, at least not currently. And I doubt Facebook will ever allow us to do that. So we have to take it very seriously as realtors and team leaders um, to succeed in the next generation of real estate. It's super yeah. important. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you, when I first got on LinkedIn, I, I had a profile, but I never logged. I never logged. I had like 100 connections, 200 connections when I when I when Brandon took it over. And then when he when he logged in, now I've got over over 5000 connections on LinkedIn, which is more than you can even have on on Facebook to begin with. So you can have up to 30,000 connections on LinkedIn versus up to 5000 on Facebook. So that's one advantage. The second one is the people on LinkedIn are actually there to do business, whereas Facebook, they're there to look at your pictures, to see what you're doing, what you're up to, whatever. On LinkedIn, they're actually there to, to talk business. So when you approach somebody on a conversation, uh, on, a, on a direct message on LinkedIn, it's more, it's well received by the other party because they're there for that purpose. So it's a lot, it's a lot easier conversation to have, um, whether it's recruiting or lead generation through that, through that platform. Is what I've is what I've experienced. So it's that it's makes a lot of sense, cool. man. I, I, uh... yeah. It's, it's kind of like when you go to a party at your neighbor's house. It's kind of awkward and weird if you just start handing out business cards, right? Uh, but if you go to a chamber mixer, it's kind of expected. That's what right. you're there for to network and create new business create relationships. Business so that's kind of the analogy I use when I'm training uh, our customers and clients. Like this is it's okay. To reach out business wise because they don't give a darn about your puppy or your kid graduating <laughs> school. You know, right. Right. So it's different. So it's a, it's a much more natural um, and it's a much more non threatening way to approach people. And like Brandon says, it's the conversation stage. It's not a lead or an inquiry, it's an actual conversation that's authentic and real, okay. even though it starts off being automated. Long, you know, what do you think? Yeah. So I can barely spell LinkedIn. I even know how to spell it. But again, English is my best language. That, that's my excuse. But, you know, we, uh, we uh, you know, I have a brokerage out in Minnesota, Mike Bernie and I, and we brought on over 600 agents in a little over four years. And LinkedIn is part of that. When Brandon took over for me, I'm just looking right now. I mean, I barely even log in. I may not know what to do with it, but he's doing whatever he's doing for me in the back end. I now have like almost 7,000 people on there. I'm just looking at it within the last, I don't know, it looks like 30 days, something like 4,251 people view my post, 229 people view my profile. I'm constantly getting requests to meet with me, uh, you know, for recruiting. So that's my input. And I still don't know how it works. I just know that it's working and whatever Brandon's doing, it must be working. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, Brandon, get right into it, man. I want to see what the hell you're doing. Cool, let's do it. Well, we won't use Tristan, so let me log out of that one real quick. <laughs> I didn't want people to be like, oh, hey, I can see them. <laughs> like this morning, I hung up with two, two of the people that reached out to me from LinkedIn. Now we're having interviews with them, so. Perfect. David, can we use yours then? Do you mind? Okay, go ahead. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and share the screen. Just skip over the part that says Tristan switching over to EXP when I messaged him back and forth. I'm oh, we want <laughs> Perfect. So uh, just as a little bit of a background, what, well, what we realized really on, you know, even when David, when we built this for David and Mike, we realized really quickly that uh, the software is going out and adding, or we're going out and adding 75, 100 connections on a daily basis. And the chat box within LinkedIn, it gets very convoluted. Every time that the, we make a connection or every time we send a message, even if it's not a response, it starts to bury a lot of those conversations within, uh, within that chat box. So we realized that we needed to build a CRM for it. So what we've done now is we have a CRM that we've built and all, it's, uh, all the clients that we bring on to Techly will actually have access to it. Uh, additionally, what's going to happen is as people respond to you in LinkedIn, all of that data will be transferred over to the CRM. So the need to actually use LinkedIn as a vehicle for communication isn't necessary. Once those people respond, they show up into the CRM and they go into one of three different categories. So heating up, burning hot, not interested. Uh, there is a component of artificial intelligence in this that's called natural language processing. I'm going to get a little nerdy here, so I apologize. Uh, and what that does is if I was in person with you, Tristan, and I was to say, hey, Tristan, it's nice to meet you versus, hey, Tristan, it's nice to meet you. The way that I said that in the words that, although they were the same words, if I was to change up the wording, it would be a very different feeling of how I actually felt about meeting you. Would you agree? 
Yeah, definitely. So what the CRM does is it actually understands the language and it attempt it, it doesn't actually create a, a tone in invoice, but it has an understanding of what people are saying and how they're saying it. So if people end up into the heating up category, they're going to be individuals that are asking questions, showing some level of interest that have some questions and are actually engaging with us. Whereas the burning hot category is going to be somebody that is ready to talk to us, ready to have a conversation, wants to know when, where, and how we actually begin that recruiting process. Can you, can you show us the front end of how this looks? So like go to LinkedIn so we can see how that looks and then we can compare both. Because you've simplified that whole process, right? Yes, perfect. And um, I think that's, it's important for all of us to see because what he's done while he's looking for it is he's been able to go onto LinkedIn, automate a lot of these messages like he's going to show you. And then these messages on the back end of his system, they're able to go in and then decipher for which ones are hot, which ones are not. So check this out. Of course. So as you can see here, here's all of our set messages. So this goes in. Uh, we don't run ours until a little bit later in the evening. Oh, look, there's enough. How, how ironic. Perfect. Techly app support. New burning hot lead. Um, that's that was perfect timing. Uh, but as you can see here, ours fires off a little bit later in the day. So as you can see, 13 hours ago, 14 hours ago, 15 hours ago, 16. So it goes off and sends anywhere from 75 to 100 connections a day. Got and it. what happens is, as I was saying, our inbox gets super buried in a lot of the stuff that's going on. So as you'll see here, um, Next, oh, perfect. So a lot of people are responding. So these are just our responses from a couple of days ago. But as you can see, thanks for connecting. These are the messages that are automatically being sent out here. Don't know if my screen is if you can see it, but um, yeah, I can, yeah. all of these are going out, all automated. And what happens is, is we get buried in a lot of our responses. Um, so as you can see here, this is all the software working. There's no so, actually. Okay. Brandon, the message is going out automatically. Yeah, all the messages, yeah. everything gets done. What's the message? What's the message saying? Like, um, you know, Long's, Long's on here with us, but what's, what would the message be for, for somebody like Long who has a brokerage and is trying to recruit versus the message that goes out for an individual agent who's trying to get leads from this? Of course. So if we're trying to do buyer and seller leads, one of the, and the reason why it has a significantly lower price point is because all we're really trying to do is create relationships and build those LinkedIn connections. So if we were going out and trying to attract buyer seller leads, it's more or less just an introduction. Um, we'll go out and say, Hey, my name is Brandon, Brandon Lee. I work in Vegas. This is very shrunken down. Um, uh, I just want to introduce myself as a local realtor or an expert uh, in the real estate industry here in town. Um, if you have any questions about buying or selling a home, or if you um, have any questions about the current, your current home value, I would love to feel, I uh, would love to reach out to you or love if you could reach out, maybe we could grab a cup of coffee, literally just a quick introduction. We don't want to spam people with, Hey, I'm a realtor. Do you need a real estate agent? Let's sign up. Let's go. But what ends up happening, especially as we continue to build a lot of these LinkedIn connections is that we, uh, it, and continue to post content videos data on the site, we're able to reach a lot of people that, as I said earlier, have a 58 point higher credit score than the average user on Facebook. Uh, not only that, when we target a lot of these people to add the connections and, and start delivering these, these messages, uh, we're, we're literally targeting people that have significantly higher net worth than what we would be able to target on Facebook, for instance. We can target people in executive level, director level, uh, significantly higher positions that we know are going to come with higher salary and price or uh, purchasing power. And so we, we don't have the issue a lot of the times where we're getting, you know, 300, 400, 500, 600 credit scores. Uh, more often than not, the average uh, conversation that we can create on LinkedIn for buyer and seller leads are in the mid sevens for credit scores. Um, and that's data that we've actually had as we continue to reach out to a lot of the clients that are using the platform and, um, and, and are, are delivering those messages and, and converting those leads. Uh, on the, on the re, I'm sorry, on the recruiting side, it's a, it's a completely different message. Um, what we do when we reach out, we send that initial message with the connection. It's just a quick introduction uh, for you. I want to say it's, hey, I think it was just, hey, this is Tristan. I see we have several real estate connections here on LinkedIn. Um, is that the one you're running or what the one I'm seeing right now at the oh, no, bottom? This is my, my account. Uh, oh. this is, this is for sales, but, uh, which we also do, but not necessarily part of this conversation. Uh, but yeah, we are, let's, let's hop over to David's. How do, um, so long, how have you guys been using it? Do you guys just let Brandon do his thing or do you guys have any input? Well, I, uh, so we, we do our kind of, uh, once a month call just to check up on. So I would give Brandon feedback on what, uh, working and not working and he make the tweaks and usually it works better the next time. 
Correct. Yeah, we had a little bit of a rougher start with 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 Long and his team, uh, but we created a couple of programs that allowed us to more specifically target the agents that they were going after, and it, and it, it, it definitely helped us work out with a lot of that. Um, this is David's, for instance. So the first message that goes out is very similar to yours, Tristan. It says, hey, we use their first name. Uh, uh, looking to uh, see we have several real estate connections here on LinkedIn. We'd love to connect with you here as well. Um, and then once they connect with us, it sends a new message out about two hours later. And that message is this one right here. And it says, uh, thanks for connecting. We use their first name. Just as a quick intro, I was KW's number three team leader in the country. Found an amazing opportunity I'd like to talk to you about. By the way, this isn't going to cost you anything. You keep 100% of your split and pay me nothing. I'm just looking for someone who is humble, hungry, and smart. Would you be open to a conversation? That's pretty quick. It's that actually, that one sounds, uh, that one sounds a little better than like it. Yeah, and, and a lot of this is rooted in psychology because what we know about people is, oh. I'm losing you, buddy. Oh, let me stop sharing real quick, see what happens. Am I back? Yep. Yeah, you're back. All right, so you said a lot of this is rooted in psychology and we lost you. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so there was that statement. I'm not going to hop back on for it. Give it a second to catch back up. But that that statement, looking for someone who is humble, hungry, and smart, is is very psychologically driven because what we know is people want to connect with terms that they believe they associate themselves with. Mm -hmm. um, and to disassociate yourself from that would more or less be saying that you're um, arrogant, lazy, and dumb. And most people won't admit that about themselves. Mm -hmm. um, although we think that about some people, but that's once again not the point. Uh, <laughs> people will respond simply because they want to connect with that statement. Well, I have a, I have a question for, for Mike and, uh, and David. I wanted to call you Noel for some reason because I saw the name there, but I'm like, that's not Noel. Oh, it's David. <laughs> Noel's watching videos. Mike, Mike and David, I have a question for you guys in regards to LinkedIn. Um, you're pretty much using it the same way that Long is using it, and it's for recruiting. And, and so am I, I was actually using it initially as, as a tool to help my agents grow some of their business and, and they're still doing it on the side that way. But the recruiting has been working really well for us in, in our area using this. And at first, when I first heard of it, I was like, let me test it out and let's, let's have the advantage of run, running with this first, right? And then expose it to everybody else. So far, how has this been included in part of your recruiting? Because that's all a lot. That's what you guys do a lot, right? You guys recruit a ton for EXP because you're trying to grow your business that way and the team. So how, how do you use this as part of that? I mean, it's, it's our, it's basically my CRM. So, I mean, I'm using that all the time to, to recruit agents. It's it grows <laughs> exponentially like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. That was for kids. <laughs> All about timing. You know, it's it's very similar to other lead generation systems that we use, like Commission Sync and Ylopo and you know Boomtown, all that stuff. But it's for agents, right? And we're we're communicating, and we do want to build our sales teams. Like I'm still in production. I still I still want to sell a couple hundred homes a year. And in order to do that, we're on a never ending quest to recruit. But also, we do want to build our organizations. And you know, there's so many agents out there, as you know that are floundering and they're frustrated and they need help. They need leadership and mentorship. Yeah. And that's kind of how we reach out to them and say, look, you know, <clears throat> we want to help you. And we really do. Like, it's like you, Tristan, how much value you deliver for free to people. It's like mind blowing. And, you know, there's, there's always some sort of monetization somewhere down the road. But, you know, I think everybody on this call is truly in their heart desires to help people. And, and then when you come from that sort of state of abundance and, you know, I just truly want to help people and people want to connect and we're, we're not only building a name, we're building a reputation and we're building a future database of agents that may join our team someday, may come to eXp, but more often than not, we're, we're trying to build a, a network of people that truly need us. So you're using it mainly as a CRM then? LinkedIn, you're using the social media platform itself as a CRM, right? Right. Just like we use Facebook, Facebook is actually one of the best CRMs around. It reminds you every day of birthdays. It notifies you when your clients are uh, going, live. going live. It not notifies you when they're active on a thread. That's uh, true. And it connects people all, all over. Facebook is the number one free CRM. And we do spend a little bit of money on LinkedIn, but it's a for-profit business, obviously. And it's, it's pennies on the dollar for what it'll actually produce. So 
just like in our real estate business, we need several different CRMs for several different reasons. This is just another way to attract agents that need help, but honestly, it still attracts a lot of buyers and sellers at the same time. So yeah. it's, it's something that I'd rather not use a couple of years ago, but today I have to use it to be in touch with the, you know, thousands of agents in our local area. So, so think about this. So, so, you know, let's just say eight months ago, nine months ago, whatever I had, you know, a hundred people on my LinkedIn. Now I've got 6,000 or something like that. Right. So, yeah. so it's basically, it's growing my, it's growing my database or my CRM by however many agents per day, per day. And then every time I post something on LinkedIn, that many more agents see it. Right. So at the end of a couple of years, I'm going to have 30,000 agents on LinkedIn that see everything that I do. Right. And now they're going to do that live thing. So you could do, you could start doing live videos straight from LinkedIn. You know, that sort of thing is, it's, uh, it's priceless. I love that. So long. Oh, you were going to go. thing I want to add on top of what these guys are saying to us. We're, we're in the people business, you guys. So visibility is credibility. So for us, we have a seven step recruiting process, as you know, uh, uh, Tristan is that, uh, part of it is a stack uh, or layered marketing. So some people might read email, some do text, some do Facebook, you know, but LinkedIn, it's just another arrow in your quiver. So if you, they've seen you on LinkedIn, now they saw you on Facebook, they saw an email from you, pretty soon they've seen you everywhere. Now they're like, you know, all right, I, I should probably talk to David about EXP. I wanna find out more, at least they wanna explore. And one of the success stories I tell all the time is this one guy, you know, he came in, uh, reached out to us and he said, hey, I want to come sit down with Long and then I have an assistant that scheduled me. Her name is Flo. And Flo told me, he literally said, I was on the toilet playing solitaire and I keep getting <laughs> shit from you guys. I keep getting shit from you guys. Excuse my friend. So he's on the toilet, right? So, but, but anyways, you know, now he's like, I best might as well come in and see you guys. I've seen you through an email. I've seen you through a video, through Facebook. I got you through LinkedIn. It's just another layer uh, of your marketing campaign. And the more they see you around, the more it's going to be. And LinkedIn is well underutilized. So there's a lot of opportunity for us to use it really inexpensively as another arrow in the quiver. All right. That makes sense. Can we, how's, uh, how's your computer, Brandon? I think we're good. Yeah. Can you show the back end of the automated process on the first message that goes out? Because the first thing I wondered how this worked way back was, all right, so you're reaching out to people to try to connect with them first. As soon as they connect, then the automation takes place, right? That's how it works. But what's that first message that goes out? Well, I'll show you just in LinkedIn because to show the backends. Anyhow, uh, let's go to LinkedIn. So these are all, this is literally all the first messages that we're going out. Can you see my screen right now? Yep. Yep. As you can see here, here's the sent. These are sent connections, right? So all of this is, oh, let me go to David's one sec. Perfect. So all of this are, you can see six hours ago, three. Yeah. So here it goes again. Oh, come on. Oh, wrong place. So here's all of his connections that are going out. We pause it while he's away on vacation. But as you can see here, these are all sent connections. So it, here's the message it says, Hey, Eric, I see we both have several real estate connections here on LinkedIn. I'm looking to partner with an agent in your area that wants to grow their business. Would you or anyone you can think of be interested? So as you can see here, this all just gets sent out on a regular basis, anywhere from 75 to hundred connections a day. And it goes ahead and it adds the connection for you and then sends the message right at, at, at the same time that the connection is sent because you can send a connection with a message. So these are those messages that are going out. So when you come back over onto this side, you can see, the message that we sent first isn't here because it goes out with a connection. So it's not actually part of our chat log, but mm -hmm. she connected with us and then it went ahead and sent the next message about two hours after they connected. So it, it here's that next message that I showed you before. It says, thanks for connecting. Uh, Mitchell, just as a quick intro, I was KW's number three team leader. And then it's going to send another two messages after this as a, as a follow up until they respond. Once they respond to us, the automation stops, sends them to your CRM because by the time that they're responding, they're either saying, yes, I'm interested or no, I'm not. And so Got it. And I have a question in regards to that part of the automation. Sure. Um, you see how it says at the beginning of David's, it says, hey, uh, I was KW's number three team leader. Can we target what message goes out to different, um, different people? Like, let's say, let's say I'm targeting a Cobalt Banker, Remax, and EXP agents, but my message wants to be different to all three. Can I do that? 100%. Not a problem at all. All right, cool. So I could change it up. 
beautiful. Yeah, so what we would do is we would just, we would, it just like in drip campaigns, you know, when we, when we have a buyer seller lead from different sources, we have different campaigns that fire off relative to the source. So it more, it more or less works exactly the same. If, if the source, then this, so the, the then part being which campaign are we using in relation to the, to the, uh, to the, the person that we're targeting. So two things that I've noticed over the last year, and I don't even know how long I've ran this, about a year, year and a half. Um, the two things that I've noticed, and tell me if you guys have noticed the same thing. That's this, our connections have gone through the roof. I had like maybe 200 connections on LinkedIn. Now I've got just a little over 7,000, right? Which is a lot for, for LinkedIn when I don't even go on it. And when I post on LinkedIn, now all of a sudden people comment, right? Like I go to, let me see if I can share my screen because I, I wanted to share um, my LinkedIn. Because yesterday, one of the cool things that, that we noticed on LinkedIn now, and this is more on the organic section of LinkedIn, how, how cool it's been lately. Oh, good. Yeah, let me share my screen. Uh, uh, let me see if, tell me when you guys, tell me if you guys can see my screen here. Yeah, I can see it. All right, sweet. Now I have to figure out how to use it because I never log on, okay? So hold <laughs> hold on there. All right, so you see here as I'm scrolling down, it just it's exactly like Facebook, which is like insane. Right. Everybody's copying each other, right? And yeah, it worked. It worked, right? It worked. I mean, Facebook's copying everybody else, so why not? Why not <laughs> copy them? Uh, and here you see Sales Navigator. This is one thing that you do have to pay for to be part of this. But Sales Navigator allows you to send out even more messages than, than you would be able to normally, and it doesn't penalize you or it doesn't put you in a penalty box. Uh, here, here are the views to my posts, if I can take a look at it. Now, this is to me, this is a cool thing. This is a cool feature that I love, and I don't know if you guys have seen this. You see this 1,300 views? That's insane. It's like all of a sudden they're doing what they do with uh, with the videos on Facebook. Now they're yeah. telling you how many people have scrolled through and have seen this and then scrolled away and didn't comment. So because I have so many, I have 7,300 followers on here. A lot of this is being now shown to them, even though I only have, what is it, 16 reactions, 13 comments on this. Uh, yeah. I had 1,300 views and that's insane. Now, when you go to my messaging, you can then go and see here, everybody like, like Zane said, or Zan said, Hey, I'm just, I'm happy where I'm at. I'm like, Oh, that's cool. I just responded to her as uh, Brandon was talking. Uh, but we go down to other people and you can see that some have been interested and some have not, and that's okay. But the cool thing is now they go to my, they go to my feed and they're like, Whoa, he's got, he's got 7,300 people. Right. And he posts good shit. Well, okay, I'll listen. And I think the whole combination of that is, is what some of us aren't doing, right? So that's, that's pretty key. I mean, Long, have you been going in and using LinkedIn on top of that? Yeah, I'll, um, I think I can share my screen as well, right? Yep. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll do the same with what you're doing just to see, I don't know if you guys can see mine. You just want to copy me, Long. Yeah, just, that's right. So we should what share our screen next You know what? what do you think? Man, why don't you share your fucking screen name? <laughs> All right. What do you want to see? I'm joking. Long's going to do it first. There's no way that we're doing it. All right. So, not to brag, but I got more posts, more people view my post than Tristan. No, 42. Hey, dude, that was, that was only 24 hours, dude. <laughs> Give me 48 hours. Um, but anyways, yep, I, I see that. You I mean, the same thing you're doing. So, uh, to be honest with you, this is the first time I ever went to that screen. <laughs> and this is why we have Brandon. Wait, I don't even know. I can't see your screen. You didn't share it with us. Oh, that's not what you're seeing right now? No. No, we're seeing your face. <laughs> we're just seeing your face. Oh, is that? This is why we know. love Long. He's just forever cracking us up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me he uh, just, he does this for him. This down. Hey, hey Long, is it cold there? Yeah, it's so cold that my computer is not working. Are you seeing that? <laughs> no. Can I come home, Long? Should we send no help? <laughs> Hold on. Let me see if I can find you, Long. I think we're friends. All right. You, I you think I tried to recruit you last I'm week. I'm looking at the screen right now. You guys not seeing it, huh? Uh, you got to hit the top little chinga there at the left on the top. 
I'm, I'm going to get him can. before you get him, Tristan. You know what? You yes. see it? Oh. She has the power. I actually, I believe that. Okay. All right. Let me try again. Here. Okay, here. Now I see it. I'm not going to play that game because I'll lose. No. All right. <laughs> She's not satisfied with us two. Now can you see it? Yes. yes. There we go. Right, let's see. View your post. 52, 42, 51. All right, click wow. click on the views. Click on the views on your post. Now scroll yep. down to top 100 magazine so we can see if you're Who's lying to us. Look at that guy, handsome. Like Mario. I said, I've never even gone. What a bastard! You did a great job. Well, I didn't do anything. So whatever Brandon <laughs> that did, Photoshop made good. everybody click and look. 4,251 views. <laughs> is that in portrait <laughs> mode? Is that, is that good? Yeah, I would say. Well, I've never even logged into LinkedIn like once a month to talk to Brandon about it. <laughs> that's that's beautiful. So Brandon, you're doing a good job, buddy. Thank Brandon you. Noel wants to get signed up next. I <laughs> She's ready. Have signed up. I need to finish, right, Brandon? Oh wait, <laughs> Noel, you hadn't you hadn't finished the process. She went to Malawi. I went and, to and Africa, and, didn't, didn't. and I was very nervous because I didn't want to come back to a, a flood of messages. Makes so sense. Makes sense. To finish, but now I'm in Puerto Rico. If I would just stay home for one day, <laughs> I would. If I were somebody like Noel, I'd probably include a couple of my videos in one of those, or check out what we've done. We've been really creative. Oh right? yeah, that's yeah. the plan. That's yeah. The so, plan. Video. so, so the other thing that we should talk about is the uh, expense of this, right? Like, there's there's marketing expenses that we have as real estate agents and team leaders and recruiters, <clears throat> but this is penny for penny the most value that you can get for your dollar of all now we lost you you're frozen you run an ad on linkedin not necessarily the least expensive not the most but this particular campaign that brandon launches there's nothing better as far as uh the impact for the amount of money yeah bank your buck for sure yeah and that's that's the point i wanted to get across because we don't like spending a lot of money on anything really but this is so worth it. Nope. Yeah. Now, yeah. I to point out too, you can run ads on Indeed.com, whatever those websites are for agents, and you're paying easily three hundred and fifty dollars, I think it is a month, for the platform, and then to run the ad for the agents. Uh, but you're not actually building your LinkedIn. And if anybody's ever run those, I mean, you get so much garbage between the week, like, between all the people that apply. That it's just, it's not actually helpful. I mean, you, you can get an agent or two, but with what we're doing, we're actually delivering people in the conversation stage, as I've said, and then we're also building your LinkedIn at the same time. So that outreach is, is exponentially more important. Uh, so we really do try to do a great job of not only providing buyer seller leads or recruiting leads, but also to, you know, build your LinkedIn at the same time. Those things will always happen hand in hand. So yeah. it does. All right, man. Well, we're going to, we're going to cut it short so that Mike and David and Noel can go to the beach and get a tan because I'm good. It's 4 p.m. out in Puerto Rico right now, now, and you guys only have about 45 minutes left of sun. Sounds good. Uh, so, Brandon, where would anybody go to to sign up for this? Of course, uh, you can message me on Facebook. You can uh, go to tech, T E C H L E E group.com, or uh, there's also information in the uh, in, in the writing down uh, right below the video. So, all right, we'll so all techly, group.com. Long, yes, anything you want to add? Nope, I highly recommend it. It's cheap, it's efficient, and Brandon can make adjustments to make sure it fits your campaign, what you're trying to do. Great. All right. Thanks for, right. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Yeah. Thanks Have for fun right. the beat. Have a good day. Talk soon. Namaste. Much love, guys. How are we going? <laughs>